So welcome to East Kent League round three at Astor School, which is again in Dover. And if you're in Dover, that means only one thing, hills. Nice bank over there, another bank over there, which we go up and down seven times. And this lovely long climb up here gets up to about 18% at the top, bit of a kicker. You can see the grass is, uh, lots of dew on the grass. It's a bit greasy, but plenty of grip, I think, with, um, once that dries out, Hello! My number one fan. There's lots of green grass so it's quite thick and lush so it shouldn't be too bad. Banks might be a bit of a laugh to start with but we'll see. And they was playing some Def Leppard earlier so what can go wrong? 15 minutes to the start. And away we go. And this week I get a decent start. Everything's going swimmingly. Until someone didn't listen to the instructions to carry straight on for the first lap. That's a problem with us deaf vet 50s. Some of us are a bit deaf and very forgetful. Unfortunately, a few guys went down um, behind us, so we decided to stop the race and we come back round and reform the grid again and we're gonna have another go. Let's try again. For those of you who didn't get it last time, you're doing a lap of the top field. You're going straight on past the pits and doing right, right and round over the place. Nice no, stand down, we've got to wait for time here. Can we get another 30 seconds shout? When time comes. And away we go for the second time. And for the second time, I'll get a good start. This time, everyone makes it through safely. So I'll slide into second place behind Dave, dangerous Dave with the pink socks. And he straight away throws up some um, water up onto my camera. So not only does he try to kill me at the start, he, he now messes up the footage. So no one's snapping at my heels here trying to get through, so I think I'll just, just give Dave a bit of space. See what happens in his first few corners, no risk here. So this first part of the lap is on the flat playing field. Um, you can see the dew on the grass still, and it, it was a little bit greasy. So I'm just tippy toeing a little bit around the corners again, like I said, just leaving Dave out in front for a minute. I'm quite happy here in sitting in second place, just let everything settle down, let everyone calm down. I sort of half think about having a dive up the inside there, but decide better of it. Plenty of more opportunities to come. So I think John, teammate, he's on the wheel. Uh, so I know he's not gonna come diving up the inside. over the plank safely for the first time and just round another little complex of corners here around this dodgy corner it's quite slick actually around there it stayed in the shade all day so um, I had to stay wide on the, the grease at uh, the green grippy line so I decided I need to get past Dave here so I have a little bit of a run at him and just stick it around the outside in this little kink and then there's a left I promise you there's a left hand turn coming up here we go around here and then we do a right up a steep bank and I wanted to be in first if I could up here in case of, if I made a mistake um, if I'm in front I'm going to hold people up rather than lose time so I managed to get up there okay that time all good now around the corner at the bottom here See the rest of the field coming through. See what happens if you get caught behind. You, you're running up there. You lose so much time. So up this climb, I didn't go balls out up here. I just rode it nice and steady. I had a quick look around there just to see if anyone was going to come past when well, they weren't. But it played perfectly into my little game plan because once I got around the top, 
I decided to put a real hard sprint in when everyone's gassed hopefully from coming up the climb hard so I really stamped on the pedals here and pulled out quite a nice little cushion quickly probably a five five second gap or so just down that little straight so I'm in the lead I've got a tiny bit of a cushion now so I can ride the lines I want around these corners don't have to ride too defensively it's a nice little complex here again the course designed by Rob off camber Kingsland we'll come to the off camber bits in a minute and you'll see what I mean but this was quite a fun bit along the top of the course not too too challenging technically so I was quite happy to ride quite quickly around these corners or as quick as I could little left right kink coming up which I never really managed to get quite right in the race but never mind around this left and now is my favourite in inverted commas part of the course it's right nasty little right up a bank and there's no room to swing out to get a straight line at it so after doing all sorts of different combinations in practice of trying to ride it trying to get off on the right hand side of the bike I just decided to get off on the left run up it a couple of steps back on the bike and away we go play it safely the simple way it was definitely the quicker way for me have a little set of corners here and then we come into the sand pit around a nice right to slow us down so you scrub off all your speed and into sand pit, find a rut, wait back, mash on the pedals down the other side and then listen to your bike making some horrible noises as it grinds the sand through all the gears a little flick left and right to slow us down along this little bit and now my favourite part of course the off camber banks, so as you can see I'm just in the lead, I've got a cushion here over there. There's John Lyons, my teammate. And he's going to come dive bombing down this bank. So there we go, right, right it down here, my legs out like a dog cocking its leg for a piss. See the rest of the guys come around, tippy toeing around these corners. It, it was quite greasy the first couple of laps. So back on board again, and this final right hander was quite tricky, this was quite a severe off camber. And I think down here John, John managed to nudge my back tyre and we both both stayed upright, which was good. So now it's back on the gas around this little, little loop before we have some more banks to contend with. And this was quite a greasy corner on the inside, so I drifted out nice and wide into some leaves, get a bit of grip. Keep a, keep a nice tempo along this straight towards this bank and then I accelerate really hard from about here try and carry some speed up the bank around the top and down we go around at the bottom turn on the flat bit line her up and then gun it up this bank as hard as I could I was in my smallest gear and it all goes horribly wrong about there as you can see I ended up legs akimbo across the bike the worst position to be in Thankfully I managed to hang on to the lead. I think John was being kind to me there and not pushing through. A few more off-camera turns here around these banks. Now this little little uh, ramp here at the end of it, it's, quite, it's a lot harder than you think. It's not that difficult on its own, but after you've just done a few hard efforts, it's quite hard work getting up there. So I'll put in a bit of a dig and I'll put a little bit of a gap again over John and the rest of the guys just to give myself a bit of a cushion so I'm not going to get attacked around these corners so I'll ride the lines that I want to so this was quite a draggy section along here um, quite heavy going they are finally giving the camera a wipe for you how's that? much better Look at that beautiful sky that you can now see. It was actually a really nice sunny day. Warmed up a treat in the afternoon. Okay, so back to the commentary mark. What am I doing here? So I'm going around some corners. Around this right. And there's the guys there. So John's holding them up a bit for me, hopefully, so I can get a little bit of a gap. Doing a teammate thing.
back on board again. Just through a nice little complex of corners around. This was quite good fun to ride around these bits. And then got grippier as the race went on, as the ground dried out a bit. So, around this left, and then you've got to quickly get off the bike. Over the planks. And first line, Fancy Hacker. Back on the bike again. So I didn't do that too badly this time. Around this little complex of bends again. That's it over the start finish line, so that's a complete full lap. Pass the pits. So I've got about an 8 or 10 second lead by this point. So already I know that I just need to keep riding sensibly and safely, not make any mistakes. So straight away I'll go and make a mistake. <laughs> I didn't quite make it up the bank that time. I managed to clip back in, everything's okay, no dramas. So I'm going to chug up this hill. I didn't ride up this hill too hard. Um, like I said, I like to save a bit of um, bit of energy for when I get around the top and to really accelerate hard onto the flat bit and carry some speed there. So I've skipped forward, part of the lap, back through the sand pit again. Big thanks to Annette who took these uh, bits of footage. She's captured me here in full flight, coming down these uh, steep off-camber turns. Let's see how I do. Can I get down here without making a cock up? Well, there's a bit of a cock up. I run blow out of that corner, which means you have to climb more up that little bank there. But it's not a biggie. At least I, at least I didn't fall on my ass. Oh, I hate that corner. <laughs> yeah, I hated that corner. It was. So so sketchy going around there, it doesn't look anything, but I just really struggle to get around there. So back on board, and it's the final right hander downhill. Wang it around this corner, any old owl, which I didn't get around there too badly that time, and on the gas again, around this nice flat section. Carry the speed into this bank and then it's out of the saddle. Max effort coming up here, keep the momentum going. And then roll around the corner at the top, quick breather. Down this hill, spin it round, line it up. Now can I get up here properly this time? Come on son, no spinning out. I think I went to gear, harder gear, and uh, managed to get up there okay this time. Which was nice. Now you can see the guys in second, third, fourth place. There's Johnny jumping off, swinging his bike round. And off come glasses, so John's getting serious now. There's the rest of the lads making their way up there. Okay. And if you look at the bottom, there's Stuart, and he just rolled his tub, unfortunately. Poor lad. So back on board. Really nice gap now. Open it up to sort of probably 20, 30 seconds. Well, lucky, Unfortunately, there goes Stuart walking back to the pits to get his spare bike. So there's John on my left. He's had to jump in the pits. Unfortunately, he had a bit of a mechanical, and then just coming the other way around the corner. That's um, the rest of the guys that are chasing me down. So at this point in the race, I'm still riding hard, but I'm not having to ride ridiculously hard. I'm kind of 95% rather than 105%, which is actually quite nice. And I'm a little bit more in control, can get over the barriers better, clip back in, and that sort of thing. And I probably, in all reality, with a little bit less effort, end up riding quicker. So it's keeping it nice and smooth around these corners. 
back to my favourite nasty little bank. And like I said, because I can ride a little bit within myself, when I do need to stamp on the pedals and put in a big effort, I've got the energy there to do it. Which is good, so I'll get up there nicely. And then back to chugging up the hill again. And the one good thing about riding up this hill was you got to look across a lot of the course so you could see where everyone was. And I know I had a big gap right now. So I just had to keep playing it sensible. Negotiate the uh, lap riders who are very polite as you can see. Take sensible lines around the corners, wipe the camera of course, and not crash in the sand pit, which I have done here in the past. And not be put off by idiots waving at me at the side of the course. Tommy Van Rentals there. keep taking the sensible in field lines around these tricky little banks. Wave to my sister in the pits. When you're right. Yeah, another lap rider. Thank you very much mate for letting us through. And here we go on to the last lap now. So keeping things nice and smooth, nice and steady. Last big effort up my favourite little bank here. <laughs> Come on. That's it. That's that stinger done. Haven't done. got to do that again today. Now we come to the off camber banks. So I've ridden it without falling off every time so far. Let's, so let's see if I can actually get some half, ride some half decent lines around these tricky corners. Let's see if I can take the trademark Ian Field line. So that wasn't too bad. Keep it up nice and high for this one. This time I turned in a bit earlier. Managed to hold the higher line this time. So finally after six laps I think I've got it, got it right. Around my favourite little kink. Still struggled with that one. Last lap in it, any old hour, dude. Where are you behind you, mate? Yeah. Past this guy made it a little bit difficult, but it's all, all in a day's work. So I can see my mate Stuart ahead of me, so I think, right, I've got to get, get a power down, see if I can jump past him before these oh, tricky geez, corners, no, which I've just about managed to do. No rush to get past, don't do anything silly. Last time up this, up, it's the last time up this little bank, so that's the hard part done now of the course. I just need to keep it safe and sensible on these flat bits. Let me through. Cheers, mate. Come on, Marshy. That's it. Catch up with teammate Nick Marsh here. No, you got to do another lap. I ain't coming through. Come on, you got to do another lap. <laughs> so, so starting to piss around there, and it nearly ended in tears. Thanks, Nick. Oh, my fault. I should just rode straight past him. Never mind. But last time over the planks. No, I don't try and bunny off him. That's just for the youngsters. So I'm trying to think of a celebration to do now. Let's get around this corner first. That's taking up all my brain power. And I actually can't come up with anything other than to just sprint as hard as I can, get past this guy and save him the pain of doing another lap. I don't know if he was pleased about that or not, but <laughs> kept me entertained. So here's the podium. So it's uh, Kev on the left, he was uh, second and Paul was third place. So well done chaps. Great race and another great event and course organised by Rob Kingsland and all the VC Deal crew. Thanks guys.